Hi to Chaco. 120 versus uh, fly. Great. Let's see if he's gonna tower rush again. complete well 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 there's a blade master there's an altar Summon is peon complete. we have a peon here for fly where's the peon going okay there's a shop this shop this shop placement always i i have to talk about it is forward which is great it means you can buy items from here instead that you have to walk all the way in your base it's nice you save a lot of time you can creep faster however it has a downside you create you create a choke here. I mean, and it's gonna be easier for Undead to just kill the shop. Without the shop, you're not gonna win the game. The Blade Master and the Grunt are gonna creep this turtle. What do we have over here? Death Knight is almost done. No, it just was a foggy stream when you. Time's out and saw that. I won't go back. Uh, I thought you won't go back to this game again. I would never spoil you or anything. Just want to save you the trouble. Okay. Well. Okay. I'll forgive you for now. We have a fiend here against a grunt. If Chuck was your name, it's high to your surname. <laughs> yes. High to is my surname. The Death Knight is out. He went uh, fast fiends. Late Death Knight. Check 120's record. High to Chuckle. He rage quit. One to 120 does rage or quit a lot of games sometimes. Uh, that he has won. Oh, the Blade Master gets the kill on the Ogre. And the item as well. The item went to the Blade Master as well. There was perfect timer here, timing here by the Blade Master. And a bad start here for 120. This item is so big, man. That close of attack. Imagine if he got it on the Death Knight. He could have uh, given it later to the Lich. Instead, now the Blade Master does insane amounts of damage. He's going to kill these turtles now. Let's see if the Blade Master can come, come out of nowhere and kill the turtle. This is what I was talking about, that he plays a bit more aggressive than Lin. Uh, than, no, wait, we're watching Fly. Fly doesn't play more aggressive than Lin. Never mind, I didn't say anything. We have a gaunt Gauntlet here on the Death Knight. He's getting more fiends. Blade Master. Gets his uh, healing self cancelled. Let's see if he can do some damage here. He's, he's chopping up a fiend. Runs away. Yes, I was wrong. <laughs> it seems like Fly is playing more aggressive than Lin. But maybe it's just a different map. Uh, Turtle Rock. It's very uh, easy peasy to get to, to keep the undead in his base. Chaco, hi, hi, render delight. Welcome back to the stream. We have three fiends here, sends out some skeletons. The scout doesn't even know where the main base is. No, <laughs> he just now scouts close position. He doesn't even know where the main base is for orc, for, for fly. Doesn't know anything. Where's the Blade Master? He's still here. By the way, if you play like this, as uh, as Lin plays, or as Fly is playing, <laughs> uh, if you get a chance to buy boots, it's usually worth it. But of course, you don't really have uh, much chances here. Pretty much against level one Death Knight, if you have boots on your Blade Master, it's uh, it's really good. Are under um, well, Fly can just keep doing this until there's a Lich. Oh, Lich is going to be summoned pretty soon here. 
Blade Master still has 20 of mana. Some pings there by uh, by by 120. Fly has a Shadow Hunter out. It's gonna creep. We see some raiders. Hi <laughs> 2 is a pretty common surname. I know a guy called Back to Warcraft. Maybe you've heard heard of him. Uh, this uh, blade master taking a lot of damage. Our forces are under attack. And can he get the turtle? Can the blade master get the turtle? No, he's uh, not as long as he's dusted. Goes for the fiend instead. Uh, where's that lich, by the way? Foss Nova surprise, and he can kill the blade master. Lich can go. No, why pick this Foss armor too early? I mean, I don't think he could have gotten it anyway, but still. I would have first liked to, to see him move the Lich to over here and then maybe later get the Foss Nova in the face of that uh, Blade Master. Maybe if he could have killed him. But in the end, he can't. Uh, does he have dust? He does have dust. Doesn't even use it. Picks up a greater healing potion. Mean all the Shadow Hunter creeping over here. Uh, Sophie Mask! Nice item. Our forces are a beautiful item here. And we see, uh, we see 120 creeping over here. Let's use this uh, Foss Armor, this Ogre taking a lot of damage, there he dies, Ring of Regeneration here. Ogre is dead. That guy's dead, picks up the Tome of Agility, meanwhile... Uh, is he going for the big one first, or is he first going for this one? Seems he's first going for this one, and then probably afterwards he will go for the big one. Hex here on this, uh, this Ogre Magi is a raccoon now. Death Knight is almost level 3. There's some statues. What is this raider doing? He's being annoying. 120 is forced to creep this because he cannot leave the fiend alone. Not sure what he was planning, but he doesn't have much choice now. Uh, Lich is level 2 though, so he does have Foss uh, Nova, the, the turtle swimming. If he, like, I remember the first time I saw the turtle swim, I was so surprised. But yeah, turtles can swim in the deep water. Uh, I think they're like the only unit? Maybe some Nagas can swim. Uh, but if you're uh, just playing campaign, uh, not campaign, <laughs> if you're just playing uh, multiplayer, I think turtles are the only units in multiplayer that can swim. I believe Murlocs cannot swim. Here he kills it with the Foss Nova, picks up the Tome and the Boots. Level 3 Death Knight, almost level 3 uh, Lich, what do we have over here? He got cause of attack plus 12 is alright. I mean it's pretty good, but it's alright really. We'll see. Well, that's the first time I see this, lol. <laughs> Nagas can also swim, but uh, which ones, right? We Of course, we know that Naga from the tavern, she cannot swim. And uh, besides that, we don't have any Nagas in the game, right? In the uh, multiplayer game. So what is really a nice strategy is uh, if you have Banshees, you can possess these level 4 turtles. And you can swim behind the opponent's base. And you can harass the gold mine here from the, the water. It's a really nice strategy. They can attack while they're swimming. Anyway, Creepjack here. Creep Jack, but the Shadow, the Blade Master is very strong. Plus 38 damage. Uh, the Cutter went down though, so now it's less damage. Oh, the Death Knight, he can to kill the Death Knight for sure. That's GG, right? Plus 34 now. Uh, he has to rebuy the Death Knight. If the Destroyer was here too late, he uh, if he had the Destroyer in the air before that uh, Hex, he could have probably been in time to dispel that Hex. Anyway, Death Knight is back. The, the Blade Master going for the Lich. Get frost armor, use the info potion just in time. He also has the scroll of the beast. Maybe you should use that and kill the blade master because if you don't kill the blade master, he's gonna kill everything you have. Uh, there goes uh, everything you have, I guess, if you're 120. But he kills everything uh, there is actually for, uh, for a fly. I feel like in this kind of situation, if your opponent has this blade master, you need to focus at blade master ASAP. Right? He, he has nothing to save himself besides the info potion. So that will give him 7 seconds. And after the 7 seconds is done, he's out of the fight. But if you don't focus him, he's just gonna keep in the fight and kill everything. Let's see if we can kill this fiend. Not in time. Kodo ate nothing either. 
In the end, that didn't go bad for 120. He lost his uh, Death Knight and his Dark Ranger, but he killed so many units. He lost a Fiend as well, but he killed uh, at least two Grunts. And uh, a Kodo... No, no, these are Turtles, I think. Turtles. Two Grunts. He killed more than that, right? He probably killed more than that. They're just turned into skeletons. <laughs> Imagine if Turtles can't swim. It would be sad life for them. Naga can swim in the campaign, the hero? Okay, I didn't even know that. Yes, he has to focus the BM, no doubt. Well, especially once he will get level 2 Koda aura, he will do even more damage. Does he have it already? No, not yet. Why, why don't you get this aura? Oh, wrong button. Oh, wrong button again. This aura, man. Does he have the money? He has the lumber. He needs to get that upgrade for extra damage on the Blade Master. Blade Master doesn't do enough damage yet. We have a level 3 TC with a lot of hit points, by the way. You shouldn't focus the TC. He has plus 10 strength and a greater potion of healing. Of course, uh, after you focus the Blade Master, you will use the Info Potion and give the greater potion of healing to the Blade Master. This statue, free statue. Free statue for you. Free statue there for Fly. The list is level 4 though, so is the Death Knight. He's gonna get uh, the skill over here. I forgot what it's called. But the either unit skill. Lich also, by the way, a lot of damage with two blocks of haste, but no extra DPS. I mean, extra DPS, but no extra damage that would uh, work very well with that Gloss of Haste. Oh, he, he picked level two Unholy Aura. I guess it's because he has a potion of greater healing already anyway. Oh, here comes Mr. Blade Master. Oh, wait, this army is looking so small here for 120. One Fiend dead, 237 critical strike. Uh, Lich is about to die. He has the Info Potion though. Uh, I already used the Info Potion, great. So our Ranger maybe can still die. No, deep is out. Got a parry up there. Sells it. Come Banshees, because you have to go Banshees against this Blade Master. Are you kidding me? 48 Splying is 50. Two statues. I mean, two statues and a Fiend and an Info Potion. Oh, you mean two statues over here? He gave two statues? His brother 420 took over. 420 playing Craigism. I mean, who needs two statues anyway? Mon 20 doesn't. He's still equal in supply, he just needs to get some way to deal with the Blade Master. Dark Ranger is level 3. He has pretty strong heroes. 4 4 3 against uh, 4 4 3. Okay, similar levels. But we see all the items we need here on this side. He has all the uh, longevity items for his heroes, to, to save his heroes. He has the mana on the Shadow Hunter. He even has some extra mana on the TC for a third stomp. The items, these are like the perfect balance of items here for uh, for fly. Only thing I would have liked is maybe a rune bracers on one of these uh, those heroes, but whatever. You can't get everything. So also he does have uh, this item is not the best though, but sure, sure. 50 supply gets 53, fly went over 50. By the way, I, I guess you guys noticed this expansion. I haven't talked about it yet, but he has an expansion. Only four peons on the gold though. Maybe uh, maybe fifth one would be nice. Blade Master saying hi. Can he kill him? Nope. Illidan can swim in the TFT campaign too. Or rather walk on water. Hmm, well, I guess it's, we don't have Illidan in this matchup though, and we don't have the Naga either. It's a different Naga, of course. All these uh, heroes have different names. Uh, like, just like this is not Arthas. This is uh, Duke Dreadmore. The Demon Hunter is not Illidan. And the Naga is a different Naga in the campaign. So they're slightly different. Still has three grunts. Four Raiders. I don't like this at all. Four Raiders. Well, 
unless you're going for a base race. Maybe he's uh, going for the base race, but with uh, with these items he has, he doesn't need to go base race. But he's going, he's going base race. I mean, a base race is fine, I guess. I mean, he has towers. There's nothing one friend can do here. He doesn't even have a TP. Uh oh, no TP. The raiders don't have pillage, though. This statue is going down. Where is the pillage? No pillage being upgraded. I'm not going for the main. Here comes 120. 60 supply against 61. The greater is dead. One, uh, few, two acolytes died as well. Maybe the blade mass in trouble. He has an info potion though. Uh, doesn't matter. He's dead. And this is the chance here for 120. This is the chance to make a comeback. The blade mass. How expensive is he? Is he 600? He does have the gold, but not the lumber. He miss, he's missing 13 lumber. He cannot buy him back. If he buys him back now, he's just going to die immediately anyway. But we have towers here. He cannot uh, push in. <laughs> no fly, typical. Yes. Even without expo, this game is qu over quite before. Nah, I think without the expo, uh, after killing the Blade Master, 120 would have been in a really good position. But because of the expo, it's uh, still a good position here for fly. Okay, well this uh, this grunt is dead. Now he's going for for the Kodo. The Blade Master killing this fiend. He gets a coil. This Kodo is going to die. There's so much damage lost here to the orc armor. The Blade Master now with the of course doing so much less damage of course, even with plus 34 damage, is not really enough to win the game here. He's uh, he's losing all his grunts and uh, flies back to under 50 supply. He's, it does seem like 120 just wins this game. Easy peasy, easiest game of his life. This is what we were saying earlier. How uh, Fly doesn't stand a chance with this Blade Master with the ultimate items. Uh, that failure goes down. We have two towers in the fight helping Fly out here. It's not enough. It's not enough. Blade Master's dead. It's, it's not over though. We still have fortified towers here. He can stay in the game for a bit longer, but it's uh, a very 120 sided now. Let's see, he does lose the destroyer to the towers. No XP given though. The grunt goes down, the the, dark, the skeletons are already level 2. They're very good against the berserkers. Uh, there's some misses. This tower goes down, maybe, perhaps. Yes, it goes down. No more towers, just a burrow left. TC, be careful, Mr. TC. He still has a greater potion of healing, but uh, we saw that he wasn't on time with the info potions on the Blade Master. Who is never going to be on time with the greater healing potion on the TC either? This uh, this burrow is taking a lot of damage. It's going to uh, be destroyed, and all the peons are dead, and this shop is going down, then this expansion is going to die, and uh, where is the Blade Master? Yeah, it's gonna take some time to get a level uh, four blade master back to TC. Run little TC. Well, peon dies, and the rest of the peons they hide. Oh, Mr. Berserker, the wrong side of the trees, or wrong side of the. Uh, never mind. He can escape, no problem. We have three statues here, healing everything in the back. Uh, no, another peon goes down. We have a level four dark ranger. Another peon goes down with these banshees, casting curse. This uh, burrow is definitely going to fall for sure. Uh, GG Burrow and these two peasants, maybe they should have, uh, you know, joined the undead forces. There, one of them joins the undead forces, the other one just dies. Look, this is, was that peon we just saw. It's a skeleton now, but sure, he is still uh, alive in spirit, in soul. He's over here, fighting for undead now. We have level 5 Lich. Where's the Death Knight? Anyone can see the Death Knight? There he is. He bought the info potion. He still has the scroll of the beast, by the way. Didn't even need it last fight. He can still use the scroll of the beast. There's no chance with the scroll of the beast. There's no chance for fly, guys. I'm sorry. No way to come back for fly. This, uh, this shop is going to be destroyed here in a second. Blade Master, there he is. He's back. Ready to ride. And uh, he's using the Spirit Link, but we have three destroyers here. He's using the power to eat it. Look, all Spirit Link is gone. Besides, uh, in the back in there. Well, the Kodo goes down. 
Nice silence. The Death Knight has the Info Potion. He uses it very early. Very smart here by 120. Uh, because uh, I also get Stun Locked. Uh, stun Hex Locked. Although there's Destroyers that... Uh, Blade Master! Takes a lot of damage. Use the Info Potion this time. He's gonna kill the statue. There it is. When you use the Info Potion, you also lose the Curse. Which is perfect. Uh, oh, but he's no longer able. It gets coiled. Oh, he used a greater healing potion that he got from the PC. The present at the right timing is uh, he's conveying all the love for his brother there. Kills it, uh, Spirit Walker. TC is in a beautiful position, but he's still silenced. And the Banshees run away. We have, uh, no, we have an abomination coming into the fight. 20 supply vendors still here for 120. This, uh, this statue taking a lot of damage. But can you kill him? He's out of mana. It's not an important statue anyway. The TC in the back here he receives a healing wave. The statue goes down. The Kodo will go down here as well. It's a very important uh, kill there. TC is, has mana for stomp. Where is he going to stomp? He could run to over here maybe. The radar move. Oh, there's a nice healing wave. Never mind. He runs away. Uh, we have the Banshee. You're stuck. <laughs> there was a stomp of three of the Banshees. One of them goes down to the Blade Master. Beautiful critical sight there. Uh, TC goes down, but uh, Blade, uh, Shadowhunter is going down as well, and, and now the Blade Master maybe. It's his turn. There it is. GG.